think one of the main questions people ask is, how much money do YouTubers make and is it even worth it? I'm curious all the time. I'm growing my channel. I know what I'm making, but I'm always curious about what are other people making, people that are further along in their journey than I am. Well, lately I've started wondering, are people making the same amount of money based on the number of subscribers they have? I don't know. So I did a little bit of investigation. I found two growing YouTubers. They're both females and they both have 300,000 subscribers as of 2020 for their 2020 income report. Catherine Manning and Gillian Perkins love watching both of their channels, but are they making the same amount of money? They both put out an income report for 2020. Are they the same? So let's find out. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Is that a factor in making money? And did both of these channels make the same amount? My name is Vanessa DeBerle and on my channel, I teach you how to turn your passion into profit. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and you'll get a video every week. Now let's dig in. We're going to find out how much Catherine Manning and Gillian Perkins each made on their channels. Both of them have 300,000 subscribers at the time of the income report. Now I'm going to show you this right away, but please don't leave because there's some other factors we're going to look at to see what some of the differences are. I'm gonna let them tell you. So let's listen to Catherine Manning first. So without wasting any more of your time, let's take a look at my main channel and how much money I ended up earning just from my ads alone in 2020. I have 2020 selected up top here so you guys know the stats are right and I ended up earning $88,717.64 just from my main channel alone. And as you guys can see right over here, that's from 9.7 million views. Actually, more specifically, this is the exact amount of views that I ended up earning this year. And my Wow, $88,000. I think I could use that. What about you? I think that is amazing. Catherine Manning has grown from the bottom up, just like you're doing now. If you're, you've got your own channel or if you're thinking about it, everybody starts from the same place. And she has an amazing backstory. She actually quit her job, didn't have a lot of income coming in and just dedicated everything she had to her YouTube channel. And it has paid off for her. She went through some rough times, got into some debt, but it's all gone. And she has a really neat story. So anybody can do it. Okay, let's look at Gillian Perkins. She has a different story, a different life, but they both have 300,000 subscribers. Let's see how much money she made. How much my channel has earned for the past year. So we're going back to the revenue tab, but now we are going to change it to the last 365 days. And this right here is how much money my YouTube channel earned from ads. In the last 365 days, it's $63,842,000. So a little over $60,000 just from ad revenue. I just think that is so cool because that right there is a full-time income and that's just from the ads on my videos. It's not me doing anything else to earn any additional money just from making videos and that is pretty cool. Wow, $63,000. Now, wait a minute. $63,000, $88,000. That's a $25,000 difference. They both have 300,000 subscribers. So what's going on? Why is one channel earning $25,000 more than the other? Let's go ahead and pull up their uh, screenshot of each of their income reports so that we can compare, um, see if there's anything else that we can compare. If you notice on Catherine's she has 9.7 million subs, uh, views on her channel for the year, while Gillian has 7 million views. So right there, that's a 2 million, million views difference. So views matter. That's what I want to point out. There's also something else that matters. I want to bring up one more thing. That's why I don't want you to leave because this is really important. Every time I Googled, how much does a YouTuber make? I kept getting the question answered like this. Well, it depends on what the CPM is and for every thousand views. So that means every thousand views, you get paid X amount according to the ads. Now, is that always the same? Every time I looked it up, they'd say, oh, it's around $2 or not to $9. And I'm thinking, well, what is the difference? I'm gonna explain that to you here, but I'm also gonna let them explain it on their channel so that you can see what a CPM is, what an RPM is, and why that matters as well. Now remember, these two channels are very similar, 
but evidently the ads that are getting put onto their channels are different they're paying different amounts and you're going to see that now if you don't know what a cpm is or an rpm and it's just like ah what is that i did make a video where i went step by step and really tried to break it down please watch that so that you can understand what that means because i really dug in and and wanted to show that to you okay all right let's find out from Catherine what her rpm and cpm is okay and then right after that i'll go ahead and play gillian and then i'll come back with a, a little bit of an overview after that if you've watched any other video on my channel where i talk about making money from youtube ads then you would have heard me mention cpm and rpm and those two things really determine how much money you're going to be able to make off of your youtube channel just from your ads alone okay so the very first one is your cpm which stands for cost per thousand views and that's how much advertisers are willing to pay per thousand views to get an ad on your youtube channel but it changes based off of every single channel and every single single video on your channel. So that's really important to note. The other one, your RPM, is how much money you specifically are making per thousand views. And I always hesitate to say this. YouTube takes 50%. And I only want you guys to think about that in terms of your CPM. Because when I say I made $88,000 for my YouTube channel last year, that doesn't mean, oh, 50% YouTube gets, so I only get $44,000. No, that's not true. YouTube doesn't actually share with you their cut in terms of your estimated revenue. They only share with you their cut in terms of your CPM. So that's how much advertisers are willing to pay. If you cut that in half, your RPM should be about 50% of what your CPM is. Now, it's an average, okay? So it may not be exactly 50%, but if you're just curious how the heck that works, that's that's how it works. So for my main channel in 2020, my average CPM was $17.61 and my RPM was $9.16. But average over the past 365 days, the CPM or the amount that YouTube paid me on average for every thousand views was $16 dollars and 32 cents so a little over 16 dollars per thousand views that i got okay now let's get into looking at a few of my top earning videos to see what the cpm was for those videos so this video right here is called how to start a youtube channel and over the past year it has gotten 1.4 million views and it has earned a bit over $6,000. But when we click over to the revenue tab, we'll see that it only earned $8.11 for every thousand views that it got. So a little bit. Well, obviously there's lots of factors that go into this. I went ahead and pulled up my screen of my analytics from last year. I had 3000 subscribers. You can watch the whole video if you want, but here's my analytics in a nutshell. I made almost $2,000 with 3000 subscribers and my RPM and my CPM are much higher than you see from theirs. And so there's just a lot of factors that go in. While my RPM, that's what I reaped, that $25 was high, I didn't have the views that they had and the subscribers they had. But imagine the amount of money that would have been with 300,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, it's not that simple just to do the math because by the time I get to 300,000 subscribers, my RPM and my CPM may go down. What I want you to get from this video is that you can make money being a YouTuber, but you wanna make sure you're doing something that you have a passion for. I do have a link below where I help you determine if you have a passion that can be turned into profit. It's a little uh, course that I have below. Um, check it out. and keep coming back subscribe to my channel and i'll have more videos like this for you in the future thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you on the next video